Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I want to talk about some of the mistakes that I made on my curly hair journey. I'm coming really close to completing my first year on CGM. So I just thought, let me sit down, make this video talking about some of the mistakes that I made on my curly hair journey. And hopefully some of you might relate to these mistakes or it might help you not make the same mistakes that I made. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. The next mistake that I made was wearing a pineapple throughout the day. Now look, if you have curly hair, maybe this won't be a big deal to you, but I have wavy hair. And if you have wavy hair, then you will absolutely understand that our biggest struggle is to get curl definition towards our crown. So at the top sections, we don't have any trouble getting definition from our mid length to our ends but mostly the top sections that is the area that we struggle with the most now everyone will tell you that you know wear a protective hairstyle and for that you should wear a pineapple and in the beginning that is absolutely what i did during the day also i had a pineapple on but this is the easiest way to get rid of your definition your curl definition in your top sections if you're at home i would say that get yourself like a satin band that you can tie or just take a scrunchie and put it put it onto your hair like this and just loop it once you don't need to tie it tight that way there's going to be no pulling at the roots and and yeah you won't lose any definition here because there's not going to be any kind of pulling and tugging because remember if you have wavy hair and i have really long wavy hair which already means that my hair gets weighed down just because of my sheer length and therefore getting curls or waves or getting definition here is anyway going to be an issue that I struggle with. So why would I tie my hair in a pineapple during the day? If I'm resting against like a wall or something, let's say when I'm editing, then it's totally fine for me to have a pineapple. But otherwise, when I'm at home, I have no place to be. I'm just roaming around, doing my thing, going about my daily business, my chores, etc. I just take a scrunchie or a satin band and I just tie my hair this way so I just loop it once there's no pulling and tugging and this should be absolutely sufficient only when I go to sleep that is when I sleep in a pineapple I'll make a video about it if you guys are curious on the subject sound off let me know down below do you want that video and if you do I will for sure make one another thing guys if you're enjoying this video so far leave me a like Oof, this mistake this is a big one following someone else's routine blindly now look when you're starting cg it is very important for you to have people that you're looking up to so you have like your cg inspiration people that you're looking at but please remember that their texture their density their porosity is going to be really different to yours and what your hair needs is going to be very different to what their hair needs so i would say even if your favorite influencer your favorite curly girl your favorite curly crush has a particular routine and has her set or his set of favorite products don't automatically assume that that's going to work for you because okay my protein moisture balance series i broke down all of the ingredients right i mean have you watched that video you will understand if you have high medium low porosity hair if you have fine hair if you have coarse hair different oils different butters different proteins are going to work very different for you so i would say please don't follow somebody else's routine blindly i've made this mistake and i got burnt this next one <laughs> diy hair masks I'm so sorry you guys, if you look at my deep conditioning video, I have included some DIY hair masks, but if you saw my protein moisture balance video, again, we spoke about small proteins, large proteins, medium proteins, right? We also spoke about oils that coat the strands and oils that penetrate and actually go into the cuticle, right? Now, when you're doing DIY hair masks, it is very important for you to have this knowledge and not just randomly do these hair masks. Even when it comes to rice water rinses, of course I'll make a video. But before I made a video talking about rice water rinses, I thought it's very important for you to understand protein moisture balance. So 
the kind of proteins that rice water and gelatin are. I wanted to give you this information before I made these videos. Obviously, I will be doing videos on the topics, but yeah. DIYs. Am I saying that they don't work? No, absolutely. They could work, but for you to use a particular DIY, it is very important for you to understand the science behind using those ingredients. Listen, if your DIY mask is something that can be whipped up in a kitchen, you might make mistakes, you might have protein overload, you might have moisture overload. So it is very important for you to be informed and then go down the DIY route. But as a beginner, without you having that knowledge of how ingredients work, I would absolutely not recommend DIY hair masks to you guys. If you're buying a store-bought product, then what you're paying for is the expertise of a product formulator who is going to make something that will absolutely work for your hair if you know your porosity, your texture, your density, etc. So I would caution against using DIY hair masks in general. That is 100% a mistake that I made. The next one, styling your hair with snagged nails. Just today I broke a nail styling my hair. But anyway, if you have snagged nails or if you're wearing rings when you're styling or even when you're scrunching out the crunch, this could absolutely destroy your curl clumps. All of that effort, all of that effort that you put in during styling, trust me, wearing rings or having snagged nails when you're styling your hair or when you're scrunching out the crunch can be so, so, so bad for you because your fingers, your nails will get stuck in your hair. You're gonna destroy your curl clumps oh my goodness guys just don't do it if you have chipped nails then file them down or cut them before you start styling your hair or even if you're scrunching out the crunch and if you have rings on then take your rings off and then style your hair or then scrunch out the crunch and then after that once you're done wear your rings another mistake all of these products that you have on your hair, right, can absolutely give you acne, can also cause cystic acne on your cheeks and stuff. So once you're done styling your hair and your hair is all done, that is when you want to do your skincare. So style your hair, finish off with the entire styling process and then wash your face. Don't wash your face and then style your hair. Another mistake, make sure that you're changing your satin pillowcases at least once a week or rather at least whenever you wash your hair and you style your hair and you have like a fresh do, right? Make sure that you're changing your scrunchies, make sure that you're changing your bonnet. Guys, if you're using the same bonnet for like a year or whatever, I hope you guys are not doing that. I hope you're washing your brushes. I hope you're cleaning your shampoo brushes. I hope you're cleaning your tools, your detangling tools. I hope you're sanitizing your spray bottles, whatever you use, whatever paraphernalia, whatever tools that you're using, whether it's a scrunchie, whether it is your hairband, whether it is your pillowcase, I would say that please, every time you wash your hair, make sure that you're changing all of these things. Another thing when it comes to satin scrunchies and stuff, they're satin. So please make sure you wash them. Please don't be using the same scrunchie month after month, year after year. Listen, if you've done that, then you know that your scrunchie is discolored. So please wash them regularly. Or if they're not washable, then maybe make some of your own at home. Same with pillowcases. If you feel like you can't afford to buy so many pillowcases, then please buy some satin fabric. You can get satin for 70 rupees a meter. I think for one and a half meter, you'll be able to stitch yourself two pillowcases. Depends on the width of the fabric, absolutely. But I would say that please, 70 rupees or 100 rupees are gonna get you two pillowcases. Please make sure that you have more than one pillowcase. I would say at least have four pillowcases and keep changing them every time you wash your hair. Make sure that you're sanitizing everything so that you don't get pimples and everything is nice and clean. Because trust me, you're gonna have product build up. Oh, also, since we're on the topic, make sure you're also sanitizing like your diffuser head. Whatever you use, right, for your hair, please make sure that you're cleaning it, right? Do it as soon as you wash your hair. So when you're waiting for your hair to dry, then maybe, you know, go about doing these things so that you don't forget. Okay, so the next one is not exactly a mistake that I made, but this is just like a little pro tip. Okay, I won't call it a pro tip. Let's just call this some advice, like a tip from one girlfriend to the other. 
let's say you have somewhere very important to go and you're not going to be able to wash your hair on that day what can you do you could absolutely wash and style your hair uh, wait for your hair to dry etc and then don't scrunch out the crunch and just go to sleep the next day when you wake up you'll notice that some of the cast has already been broken but otherwise you'll still have a nice strong cast on your hair so then scrunch out the crunch and you'll be done secondly what you also could do is uh, wash now style later so a lot of the times when i'm coloring my hair because look my whole hair routine takes me like eight hours yeah sometimes even more than eight hours when i'm air drying like a hundred percent but yeah let's say on one day i am clarifying my hair or i'm coloring my hair or i'm chillating my hair what i technically do is i'll color my hair and then after that i'll shampoo and i'll condition and then i'll just let it dry without any product without anything and then the next day i will then go in with my deep conditioner and then i will style and do the whole plop and wait for it to dry etc that way i'm saving on time some of you might not have to deep condition every single week but i know exactly how my hair behaves and without deep conditioning my hair would look completely dry so leave-in conditioner and deep conditioning these are things that are so 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 important for my hair so a heavy nice thick leave-in conditioner and deep conditioner are so 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 important they're absolutely make or break for me gels are also super super important for me but that's besides the point and so on days when I have to color my hair and stuff what I do is I just break it up into two days and it makes the process way 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 easier so if you're running short of time then you can absolutely try wash now style later since I'm gonna complete one year I don't feel like a newbie anymore I've started to feel like this wise sage wanting to pass on my knowledge and wisdom no I'm joking but yeah if this video helped you and you want some more tips and you want videos and you want more advisey talk through videos like these let me know uh, leave me a comment and I will for sure make some more with you guys because trust me this doesn't even scratch the surface there are so many more tips that I can absolutely share with you guys so if you're interested in videos like these let me know and I will for sure make them for you all right guys thanks so much for watching my name is Michelle and I will see you in the next one bye